guys. Last day of Vlogmas. Can you believe it? 25 days straight. That said, it's time! Let's go. That's right, it is officially day 25 of Vlogmas and our Vlogmas journey has come to an end. It has been an absolute honor to provide the daily content for you guys and uh, just go on this journey. It's been a lot of fun, a lot of learning, a lot of challenges, a lot of videos, a lot of car stuff, a lot of unexpecteds, and just a lot in general. It's, it's been a lot of fun though. But most importantly, it's been a lot of fun. So, we got one last job to do to finish this day out, which is get the aluminum paint on this manifold and uh, get it looking pretty. Because right now, I mean, at least it's, you know, one solid color and looks prettier than before, but uh, we can do better than this primer rusty color. So, let's get into it. Let's get this paint on there and uh, see how it goes. All right, you guys, so first off, reminder again, I mentioned it last video, but if you guys haven't watched Uncle, Tony Gar Uncle Tony's Garage, he has some fantastic old school muscle car, classic car content, and he's just a funny guy overall, but he is where I learned these two items from uh, for painting engine parts. He basically has been using forever, has a deep dive on like how he paints engine blocks and all this stuff. He does it a little more more thorough than I did. He uses like a settling torch and all kinds of stuff to get the blocks ready. But um, for this, you know, we just used the degreaser with the diesel and then acetone wipe and then dove into the primer. And now we're gonna get into the aluminum. But yeah, that's where I learned that from. And uh, applying it with a brush, in my opinion, is so much nicer. It's just like a calm, relaxing experience. <laughs> you know, the Bob Ross and me is coming out, but um, when you're using the rattle can, number one, you gotta be somewhere where you can just like basically risk spraying everywhere or have a booth or something. With this, I'm literally in my office slash son's playroom um, and it's no problem. I'm just applying it nice and easy with the brush. So yeah, super nice, super cost effective, supposedly pretty durable. Um, and there's enough in here that I can do all four cars like entire engines pretty much and I'll still have some left to spare so we didn't even go through like a smidge with the primer that we used on this so we'll have a lot for years to come uh, that said I think there's enough talking we can just get straight into it I am so excited to see what this looks like on here it's been a long time coming a lot of elbow grease put into this and that over there um, so I'm excited to see what this is going to look like we're gonna do the top half. I don't think I'm gonna be painting the lower half, guys, to be honest. It's a much smoother aluminum surface around the edges there where the injectors connect to. It's not like this rough, stippled surface like the top half and the bottom half. The only thing I considered painting on the bottom half is maybe like the actual bottom section, uh, maybe at least the front cover side so that it looks good and matches with this. But to be honest, I don't think there's a point in trying to paint the whole thing, but I am, considering painting part of that. So if I do, I'll show you guys, but this is the main piece right now. Let's get into it. Time to paint, let's go. I only got so much battery and uh, so much time to do this. So I'm gonna get this nice and shooken up and get a little stir stick, get it ready. And I will be back, start the time lapse. guys I've stirred it up quite a bit it's still uh, kind of a weird consistency but sometimes aluminum paints are like that so let's start applying it and see how it goes because it's an aluminum paint it may have you know actual uh, like metal in it a lot of the uh, aluminum paints will do that 
So we'll see. Got quite a bit in here right now. Let's get some of that out. And let's see. Ooh, it looks good though. Alright, that's cool. I'm cool with that. the time lapse so apologies but it was just me finishing it up <laughs> um very very excited to see how this turns out it's just the first coat i didn't try to go too heavy just try to get good coverage everywhere uh we're gonna do probably one or two more coats depending on how things look after this dries um we'll see what i include probably just include you know the morning clips and maybe me putting one more layer on it before we say goodbye for day 25 because I'm going to be spending the day obviously with uh, family for Christmas uh, and we're going to be out kind of all day so I'm not going to be able to edit and upload a video if I uh, wait till we're out so yeah all the hard work guys is leading somewhere looks really good get a shot from the other side Definitely see a few streaks and things, but it doesn't have to be perfect. All right, you guys, so we've officially made it. 24 videos on here, and when you see this, it'll be 25. What a journey. This 25 days has felt like a blur, to be honest, and uh, in reality, I can't even remember all the things that we've done. Um, and all the videos and all the little things we got into, but it was a lot of work. That said though, it didn't feel like a lot of work. And that's a good way to gauge whether or not you're doing something you love doing is when even though it is hard work and you gotta grind and you gotta do those things, if it still doesn't feel like work in a way, you're probably doing something you're passionate about. And this is something I'm definitely passionate about. So. I so appreciate you guys for being on the journey. I hope you guys have gotten a chance to take a look at all these different Vlogmas episodes. And if you haven't, guess what? They will live on in the playlist and you can check them out anytime you want to catch up when you have time, etc. You guys saw the look of the intake manifold where we're leaving it off. I'm really happy with the results so far and I uh, can't wait to get it resealed all the way and put it back together into the C55. I'm probably gonna be doing some other work while it's down. Um, I do plan to do the valve covers and I'm probably gonna paint them in the same manner. Uh, clean up the engine bay, replace a couple gaskets, etc. So I'm just taking advantage of kind of the winter mode right now and uh, just grinding away on little projects to get it tip top for springtime. So again, it's been an incredible journey. It was an incredible learning opportunity for me to do something new like this. I never thought, I mean, I'm being honest with you guys. I am very positive and optimistic and whatever, but like, I just didn't think that I'd be able to do daily content like this and make it worthwhile and entertaining and still get like car stuff done. I just didn't think I had enough time, but um, that's what this whole vlogmas has proved to me again, is like getting in touch with my younger, younger self. Uh, Cause at a time, you know, when I was like, 25 to 28, 29. I mean, there was times where I was working like four jobs, paying myself through school, going to school at night, working throughout the day and still maintaining, you know, relationships and family and all like, it's crazy um, what you're able to do when you just, you, you want to, you find ways to do it. 
and this is one of those cases where like it brought that back for me and i'm so grateful to have brought that back out of myself and to have rediscovered that in reality um that energy is crazy and uh i i love it and you know it's not every day that you get the opportunity to like re-tap into that so i love this experience i hope you guys enjoyed it like i said i hope you guys got to see the channel grow in a new way as well uh, i'm really trying to just push it as far as i can and i'm shooting for the stars there's no point in you know playing the soft game or like acting like i don't care about it or whatever like i do and i love this channel and i love the cars and i love all of you guys and i really want to push this as far as i can go so I'm going to keep working. I hope you guys do too. Whatever you guys are passionate about, whatever you guys love, I hope you guys are pouring into it. And I uh, wish you guys all happy holidays, Merry Christmas. And if I don't see you before then, I think I will. But if I don't see you before then, Happy New Year as well. Uh, we'll definitely be coming out with a New Year's plan video, like what's the plan for 2023. You guys have gotten hints here and there, but uh, I got more news to share with you guys. So stay tuned. Love you guys, like I said. Like, comment, share, subscribe, all that stuff. Go check out the playlist if you haven't been able to. And uh, yeah, I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.